Jeff Roski here at the New Janky Workshop, and uh, Ryan did a shop tour of our shared commercial space that we have in uh, Hudson, Massachusetts. Um, so I thought I'd use also this to make a, um, a shop tour of my home shops, because I have two here, because um, I work inside and outside, and I have uses for different uh, each different one. So I'm going to take you a walkthrough of each of my um two workshops that I have, so you can see what I do when I'm not at the commercial space that Brian and I share. Um, so enjoy, and uh, post any questions and comments and stuff I didn't talk about in the comments below. Let's start from the outside. So as you can see here, there's my table saw. There's, I have like 100 projects in progress here, so ignore that. Um, as you can see here is my table saw. I have a uh, saw strap, saw strap, saw stop contractor table um, right there with the extra wing on it on the side here so I can get up to, what is it? 36 inch rip cuts. Um, and in storage underneath here, I have my anvil um, for forging and whatnot um, on casters. My propane tank for my forge, which lives right here. And my vise, which lives here for forging and stuff like that um, when I can't use uh, my other vices, which I will also show off. Um, and then let me come around here. Sorry for all the mess, it's my garage as well. Um, I have my router table, which as you can see, it's covered by dust and debris. I hardly ever use it, <laughs> but I have one. I have all my router bits down there. Um, and this is the cart I picked up a couple weeks ago at an estate sale, which is now my welding cart. Um, so I've got my welder down there, welding helmet, clamps, wire, gloves, magnets, extra hammer, that kind of stuff. Um, and then we'll move along this side over here. Um, I have my miter saw, um, which is just attached to two sawhorses that I built. Um, and underneath that, I have my dust collection. You can see dust collection runs from over here. Got a um, gate for the table saw so I can keep it open or closed which goes over there. And then I have this, which pipes into the back of my miter saw. Then that goes up and across. I did have a drop here for when my router table was originally there, but I have that taped off. Um, and I have another possible drop over there because that's a four-way T. Um, if I need to um, add some more collection and push it that way. Um, and then that runs along the top of the wall comes down over here to a hose that I share with both my uh, uh, nine inch, 10 inch bandsaw. I think it's a nine inch, 10 inch, 10 inch bandsaw. There we go. Um, and my spindle sander. So I'll move that dust collection hose from piece to piece as I need it. So uh, back over here, there's my miter saw. Um, and I use this as my miter saw extension. It's the perfect height, um, but that also holds my drill bits. Um, underneath my drill press machine here and underneath there for storage I have my scroll saw um, and then next to that is I have my grinding wheel um, and I have another one coming in which is why that one's empty right now uh, but that's going to be used for buffing only and uh, also probably put a wire wheel on it have some miscellaneous stuff back here in my chair uh, another stand um, a cheap harbor freight grinder um, which I don't use that often um, and then we have my main workbench here. Um, this is one where I do most of my work on. It's got a built-in vise here. It's got a bunch of dog holes on it, um, and it gets a lot of use. Um, this right here is a removal vise that I got from my father, um, and it's fantastic for moving around the shop and have one here. Um, and then let's go back to this wall. I have a bunch of material storage, also tool storage. You can see more of that here, more hand tools, easily accessible stuff. Uh, lots of things up here like, you know, my bottle openers that I use, coat hooks, knobs, door pulls, um, sanding rack. I have all that up here. Um, and down here I have my air tools, um, more material storage, safety gear, um, glue gun, wood burning kit. Um, and then below that I have stuff that's in cases such as a planer um, reciprocating saw uh, my other angle grinder dremel bits 
Um, over here, I keep shop towels and also a portable Craftsman um, uh, vacuum um, so I can clean up small messes. Um, have my air compressor shoved under there. You can't really see it, but on top of that is my uh, belt sander. Um, and there's my air compressor hose so I can get to anywhere in the shop with that. Um, and above that is where I store all of my clamps as well as over here. And then the chargers in drills that I use, I store all right there. And then above that is mostly all sandpaper um, for the different sanding machines that I have. Um, from six inch sander discs, five inch replacements, um, additional ones to supplement those over there. Um, stirring sticks, things I can use for scales, um, got tools and stuff like that. More sandpaper here. Um, I keep all my long materials over here, um, such as tubes and uh, dowels and stuff like that. I store those behind there. Some more rulers are held there. Pieces of wood. Um, and here's my wood stacks that I have. I have several up here. Um, so these are where I stack my wood and also along the walls here. You can see there's a bunch of stuff. There's also a bunch of tools mixed in back there. I got my calls that I normally use, which are tape and blue tape, my hand saws, uh, my circular saw, hand clamps, spring clamps, stuff like that go down there. Stuff that doesn't fit over there. My bucket o chunks o metal. Um, so these are things for making stuff with. Um, and then we have our cutoffs bin over here. Some additional tools over here. My Some of my hatchets, um, pry bars, stuff like that. I need most at the front of the shop. And then above that, I have my Evaporo set up, my welding and forging tools that I need. Um, this is the summer home for my uh, adhesives, my waxes, my sprays, all that kind of stuff go up here. Um, and then some additional storage up there. Also have some just random storage over the window here. Um, and I think that pretty much covers this. This other workbench here actually came with a house. Um, so this is where I have all of my, um, you know, other like, you know, uh, screws and bolts and all that kind of stuff. They all go over here. Um, so I do some work over here, uh, but most of my assembly work is done from my main um, two by four inch uh, mobile table because it's on casters as well. Um, so I can move it around the shop if needed. Uh, but that's where most of the work is done. Um, so, garage workshop. So next I'll take you down to the basement workshop. And this is my basement workshop. Let me show you around. It's really messy right now, so sorry about that. So just please excuse the clutter. Give you a sweep there. So I got material storage over here. I got foam, fabrics, and stuff like that. Um, EVA foam, uh, foam board. Um, so this is all for doing cosplay and stuff like that. Um, then I have, you know, rolled materials. I have leather. I have this thermowrap insulation stuff, cork board, um, stuff for screen printing, clocks, um, foam brushes, foam rollers, microcontrollers and electronics, epoxy stuff, hot glue gun, my Enzio Annie railway gun, which, uh, if you don't know, is um, <clears throat> one of the sets that, uh, model sets that they use for a lot of the Greeblies for... <clears throat> Star Wars. Um, so a lot of the uh, little doodads and stuff actually came from an Anzio Annie railway gun kit. Um, so that's why I have that up there. Uh, I've got my sharpening kit, shop rags, miscellaneous stuff, um, more miscellaneous stuff, more miscellaneous stuff, leather working tools, more miscellaneous stuff. Um, and then things were like my screws and everything here and my rivets and all that stuff. That all goes down here. Have my 3D printer, which is going over to the shop. Um, up in Hudson, um, have a bunch of my paint stuff, have another anvil, have my indoor vice here, which I also have my home-built leather pony on, um, so I can use this to hold pieces for stitching and stuff like that. Um, I also have my inside tools, which are my DeWalt, or sorry, my Milwaukee, uh, M12 fuel tools. Um, some additional tools over here, some over there, um, Miscellaneous projects in progress and stuff that I haven't started. Miscellaneous electronics bits. Uh, have an oven. Have a Dremel down here. Charger. Um, and then here's all my glues and adhesives and resin sculpts. WD-40. Cosplay foam stuff. Have a bit of pretty much everything down here. Um, my tape storage rack. Um, so, yeah. And then just, you know, 
little scenery of the door and all the crap that I have on it. This is my uh, epoxy resin art. Um, I have two foam brushes and a roller that's stuck to a paper towel. <laughs> um, and then I keep my bigger see-through rulers over here. Um, a saw. Um, and then I have a mobile cart, which has all my clamps on it. I use this as another table. Right now I got my sewing stuff on there. And all of my leather scraps strewn about presently. Um, so I said, this place is a mess, but... This is what I get. So this is the indoor shop. Even more of a mess to show. Um, also downstairs in the basement, I have this pool table, um, which we don't use all that often. Um, so this is a big place for doing project layouts, packing stuff. We do packing and shipping for both my business and my wife's business here. Um, have basically a four by eight table here that we can do a bunch of big projects on. So. When I do like cosplay stuff and we're doing, again, large projects um, where multiple people need to be involved, um, we need a low surface, we need a big surface, we use the pool table. So that's it. Those are my two workshops, the garage workshop and my basement workshop. So hope you enjoyed the tour and uh, talk to you later. Like, subscribe and stuff like that. And let me know if you want to see more of these things, if you want to see updates in the, in the future years, you can definitely do that. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. A lot for watching. Appreciate it.